Good day, this is Ray. Today is Saturday, August 31st, 2024 for me. Another day of learning and growing. Hold it to your family, friends, and loved ones who are doing well and staying safe. So, at the end of each month, I provide an update of where I stand with my consumer debt payoff journey. And um, let me just go ahead and get started. I don't want this to be too long of a video. Uh, hopefully, you watched my previous videos and um, have seen where I've uh, come from, but at the end of the, each month, like I said, I give a recap of everything. So let me just start from the top. Um, I like to start off with a big picture. So in May of 2019, I was diagnosed with lupus. I was in and out of the hospital from uh, May of 2019 to the beginning of uh, 2020 six times and um, accrued more debt on top of the debt that I already had. Um, during the 2020, I started aggressively paying off my consumer debt. If you remember at the time, we were... Um, towards the beginning of a pandemic and so I was working from home for the first time and uh, just really you know started to take whatever extra income I had and uh, started to throw it at my debt didn't have a plan at the time but in May of uh, 2021 was when I learned how to budget from Brad Long at ZeroDebtCoach.com and uh, showed me the correct way to, you know, start to pay down debt. Um, at the end of uh, that year, December 2021, I became a first-time homeowner. Now, the reason for that was because the office that I worked for, eventually, you know, I knew they were going to open back up and uh, we moved locations uh, further north of where uh, I was working at the time and further away from my parents. So I didn't say this, but I was a uh, back level from my parents and um, just, you know, paying off as much debt as I could. So I had to uh, dip into my 401k to be able to, to, to not only have the down payment for the home, but to cover other expenses, repairs, appliances, painting, stuff like that. So, uh, took a, a big hit the next year with taxes because uh, withdrawing money from your 401k um, at least early you get you, know, you have a penalty, 10% penalty just from a withdrawal but then uh, taking out that type of money bumped me into another tax bracket so I ended up uh, wiping out my emergency fund and uh, January of this year it hit a major milestone paid off half of my consumer debt. All right, so let's go ahead and see how this year is going. Um, the beginning of the year, I started off with $57,531.97 of consumer debt. I uh, paid off nine hundred six ninety-seven in January, nine thirty-five thirty-six in February, fifteen twelve sixty-six in March, ten fifty-three twenty-four in April, 10 21 21 in May, 12 31 19 in June, in July I paid off 979 25, in August I paid off 97502. All right, and uh, not bad. Um, in the first eight months of this year, I uh, was able to, to be fairly consistent. Uh, looks like still. The lowest amount that I paid off is uh, 90697, and that was in January. Um, you know, I, I would say still, you know, one of the struggles that I'm still having is catching up from when I had the um, brief hospital visit in June because I hadn't met my deductible yet. And, um, you know, I ended up having to use the rest of my HRA. So my health reimbursement account was completely wiped out. And then I had to come out of pocket uh, a few hundred bucks to be able to uh, pay for that state. And uh, after that, I had a doctor's appointment. I hadn't received the bill for that, but um, at least 90% of that bill is going to be covered. I have a physical coming up uh, September in a few weeks. And um, the physical's covered. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get $150 for having that physical put into my HRA account. So that should help. So um, I'm not at the pace that I was uh, in the past few months. But 
that, that's okay. You know, uh, I'm, I'm just uh, grateful for the, for the progress that I've made. So, uh, so far this year, I paid off $8,614.90. And um, I will compare that uh, to how uh, it looked last year, year to date. Um, yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm going to do that, do that right now. So year to date, 2023, I had paid uh, $6,188.34. Uh, year to date this year, once again, $8,614.90. I'm ahead by $2,426.56 uh, for the pace last year. So, staying ahead. And, um, you know, just really not letting my foot off the gas. <laughs> yeah, um, still, have, still have a little ways to go, and I will uh, tell you exactly where I'm at, I am right now. Um, in a little bit, uh, maybe emergency fund is fully funded, so definitely grateful for that. And I've spoken about the importance of having a uh, of having an emergency fund because emergencies do happen. And uh, I have had to dip into the emergency fund um, for a few reasons. So uh, I definitely, you know, encourage you when you're paying off debt uh, to have an emergency fund. And then after you paid off uh, your consumer debt, is to build the emergency fund even more. You know, uh, make sure you have a full emergency fund, and then pay off your home. Um, I just recently paid off 10 percent of the mortgage, which means, of course, I have ninety percent left on my mortgage. After I pay off my consumer debt, I that's going to be my ma- main focus is to pay off the mortgage as soon as possible to get this huge debt off my back. And you know, if you probably watch my, if you haven't watched my previous videos, you notice I don't include that number into my debt because my focus is to pay off that consumer debt. The consumer debt is, you know, a lot as it is. To combine the two, which I know what the number is combined, uh, would be, you know, not devastating, but you know, it's just be kind of hard to 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 really uh, feel like I'm making headwinds and to to pay down his debt, you know, as as fast and consistently as I am considering where I started from. Speaking of which, let's just go ahead and take a look. So my consumer debt as of June 2020 was $115,041. Excuse me, <laughs> let me start again. My consumer debt as of June 2020 was 115,041 dollars 89 I paid off a total of 66,124 dollars 82 My consumer debt as of today is $48,917.07, which means I paid off approximately 57% of my original debt. The other way, that was so tricky this morning. Probably because it's 4.40 in the morning and um, I hadn't even had my first set of medications yet. I think I'm doing okay, but you know, I could be doing a lot better if I were a little bit more energetic. I'm not sure I don't record these later on in the day because uh, I just, you know, just want to kind of get this done and then focus on what I need to. Which my focus this weekend is not to do a darn thing. I am going to relax. I did all my laundry last night and um, I've got my grocery shopping out of the way and uh, I have a three day weekend, so I am going to relax so back to the numbers so I'm at 48,917.07 it's under 50,000 yeah Um, I hope you know by the end of this year that I can at least get it to 45,000 and then um, next year just I don't know accelerate Accelerate the dip right now. Not sure if I have to get a second job. If I'm, you know, if I have the health to do it, you know, there are opportunities of like grading papers that I believe I could do from home after work that wouldn't be taxing. Uh, but I'm, you know, really want to consider consider doing that because I want to pay off this debt as fast as I can, or even um, taking on students to teach uh, budgeting personally because I have gotten good at budgeting. You know, budgeting is uh, like breathing for me. It's just, you know, something normal. I don't even have to think about it much. I'm preparing to um, 
to put together my September budget, which most of it's already done. But, um, you know, every, every paycheck, I account for every dollar for where that's going to go. And um, generally, I have an idea of how much extra I'm going to pay towards my debt right now. The two two debts that I have is a a uh, pers- personal loan, which is uh, down to 13000 actually. And then uh, my student loan, which is, what, 36000 roughly. And, um, you know, once that's paid off, you know, then it's all good. So the, the personal loan is a, is a combination of, um, credit card debt, medical debt. And, um, as soon as that's, you know, paid off, I'm not going, you know, I'm not, I've already gotten in the habit of not, you know, using my credit cards to just buy stuff knowing that I don't have the money. I think that's a big problem that people fall into is, uh, dealing with the um, consumer debt is that they take on you know more debt thinking that hey I got this credit card I can afford to make this purchase and they just do it that was me I did the same thing yeah I don't do that anymore I remember the first credit card I ever got was when I was in college and uh, there was an opportunity to, to take a trip to Toronto and I said yeah well I got a credit card I go ahead and pay for it I was working as a student uh, job, you know, I was working in a, in a music library at the time, but even still, I was, I was not able to get under that debt. I just let it go into collections and, you know, that was a different type of stress. I'm fortunate that I hadn't had that happen to me. And, um, and the last thing with the collections, I did have medical debt in one of the collections back in, uh, 2020, but I was able to pay that off right up off the jump. But you know, having this type of stress when your your debt goes to collections, you, you don't want that. You know, just call after call after call, letter after letter. Sometimes they'll call your job and all you know, all this crazy stuff. That is not something I'm going back to. And um, so, you know, I definitely have been considering on taking on budgeting students. I used to teach music lessons, so I, I think you know, sort of the same way having a having I'm sort of you know, I was a music teacher. Now I can be a, a debt teacher, a budgeting teacher. And be happy to uh, buy those type of services at a small cost, you know. Uh, this is, you know, great knowledge to have, and you know, it takes work to be able to um, share the information. And not everybody's situation is the same, so I have to look at that and keep that in mind. Anyway, I've gone far too long. If you made it this far, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and the bell for notifications. If you don't want to post my videos, you can find me at youtube.com forward slash at Lucas Lifestyle. Until next time, I hope you all take care. Thank you for watching.